everybody so today's video i'm filming my june favorites because it's like nearly well it is in june right now so i'm a little bit late if you can hear anything it's probably my brother tommy bonjour bonjour he says bonjour um or it is a b because there's a b even though it's kind of shut up now but there was a b and it was loud but I think he might have left the room now. Um, so this is the first video back after my holiday vlogs, which is exciting. So this is going to be my background for a little while until I just change it up a little bit. But anyway, let's get into the favourites video. So I'm going to start off first of all with makeup because I have actually purchased quite a lot of different sort of makeup -y bits this month. But I didn't want to just kind of talk about everything that I've purchased, sort of all of it, if you know what I mean. I wanted to talk about just kind of my genuine favourites and it's difficult not to say everything because usually everything is a favourite when I've only just bought it. First thing is this Revolution or it's Revolution because it used to be Makeup Revolution but they've changed their name to Revolution um, but it's the Revolution Conceal and Define so it is a concealer and mine's in the shade C3. Now I wanted to get this because everyone was hyping about it um, being like the Tarte Shape Tape and everyone just said it was a really good concealer. I just wanted to try it anyway because it was £4 so it was a decent price and the applicator is a really big applicator like I just love that like don't you like it's massive so it just it's really fun to apply the colour is perfect for me it doesn't necessarily match my skin tone but what it does is I put it underneath my eyes and on my chin so it actually brightens up those areas of your face very full coverage which i love very full coverage so this is perfect for anyone that wants to kind of spot conceal or anything like that because it does obviously have that coverage um to it but it is also not too thick so like the collection lasting perfection concealer that is really good coverage but it's also quite thick and i find quite cakey this isn't cakey in any way it goes on really really well and i'm definitely 100% you can count on me buying this again. I have a favourite here which is the Soph X Makeup Revolution Lipstick and this one's in the shade Syrup. I also um, bought the one in the shade Cake as well but I didn't want to include that in this video as well because I just sort of wanted to pick my favourite one and Syrup is definitely my favourite. I have it on my lips today so you can kind of see it there and then this is what the lipstick looks like so it's kind of like a nudie kind of pale sort of really pale brown syrupy color and it just looks really nice and nude on the lips which is great so yeah because if you go kind of heavy on the eyes then this is the perfect lipstick to wear on your lips and the formula of those lipsticks are also really really good it's like a satin finish so it's creamy um but it's not kind of glossy or anything and it's not matte or drying they don't last particularly well but if you're you know fine with reapplying then they're completely fine um, the next thing is this, which I haven't mentioned on my channel yet. I bought this when I was on holiday. This is the Glow Commotion Shimmer Highlighter or eyeshadow um, from W7. So you can use this as a highlighter or you can use it as an eyeshadow. And this is what it looks like. Me and my friends went to, I think like a zoo type thing one day and there was like a cool like shop nearby that just sold loads of really cheap stuff. And this was in here. So yeah, this is what it looks like. It's kind of a goldy color, obviously, as you can see. And the reason why I picked this up is because I've had my previous highlighter for about five years and it's a pinky one and I just wanted to change it up and get a, go and get a gold one, sorry. And I think, or I believe this was three pounds. So yeah, this is kind of the swatch on my hand, as you can see. And then if I like swatch it sort of on my hand like that, you can see like the shimmer to that so that's what it looks like it's really really nice it is a little bit powdery so you can kind of see the powder on your face so you have to go quite carefully with this and there is quite a lot of fallout so just kind of tap it off but yeah overall really love the color really like the product and then finally for makeup is obviously you know you just know i'm gonna put this in the soph x makeup revolution eyeshadow palette if you saw the haul that i posted before i went on holiday i included all the bits that i'd recently bought and this was one of them look at this palette like i have her previous palette that she did with revolution and i love that so much this one i love as well i think i love both of them equally there's so many different shades in this palette. I would say I've used every single shade now, like every shade, because I'm the kind of person that's quite experimental with my eyeshadows. I'm not the kind of person that would just, you know, go into one shade and that's it. I like to use everything. Today on my lid, I have the shade Lakes, which is this one here. I also have these two here. 
I've used this one today, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. So you can see how I can like, you know, use every single shade basically on my eyelid with just quite a lot of blending. So that's what I like to do. But yeah, this palette is perfect. It's only £10, which I think is a incredibly decent price considering how many eyeshadows you get and i am going to be doing a makeup look using this eyeshadow palette in an upcoming video so stay tuned for that um because there's so many different looks you can do with this so there's going to be a lot of different videos coming your way okay now i'm going to talk about skincare this month it's quite kind of small in terms of skincare and the products look exactly the same first one is the garnier skin active purifying botanical gel wash with green tea leaves um, so this is for combination to oily skin it is a facial wash i was looking for a new facial wash because i've kind of you know want to just mix it up a little bit and i saw this was one pound fifty half price and it said it's for um, combination to oily skin my skin is definitely oily as you potentially might know and I just thought you know let's give this a go it is perfect it smells really nice like it's just kind of a normal you know wash smelling scent it's not anything amazing it's not you know disgusting or anything I've noticed that when I use this it literally removes any trace of my makeup that I have on before I take this uh, before I use this and that's great because sometimes you can wash your face and then you wake up in the morning and you still kind of have a little bit of mascara on or something like that but this it just removes all of that which is great and I haven't seen the long-term effects of this in terms of is my skin better over a long period of time because I've only been using this for kind of like a week and a half to two weeks but so far i'm loving using this i get excited to use this because it feels so refreshing and it really does clean at the time and then the thing that came with this or the thing that i bought with that um, as part of that range is the purifying botanical toner with green tea leaves again this is for combination to oily skin um this is what it looks like here i just love the color of these bottles like don't you like they're just just really nice and i wanted to get a new toner because my old toner is running really low and also it's getting really old and i think it's kind of probably got loads of bacteria in it so it's just good to switch up your products every now and again you know if you've had them for a year or two you really do want to switch them out this was only one pound fifty half price again so yeah again i haven't noticed any sort of facial differences but it hasn't like given me any more spots or anything like that but i just love using it because it feels it doesn't sting the face but it feels really refreshing so those are my skincare favorites this month now for fashion favorite there's one thing this month and i knew as soon as i bought this that it was probably going to end up in a favorites video as soon as i saw this in new look i literally when i went to meadow hall i loved it straight away i thought you know what i'm gonna have to get it it's it was 22 pounds and that's i would never usually spend that money on a skirt which is what i bought um like never because i'm the kind of person that likes to really get you know your cheap five pound skirt bargains from primark but when i saw this in meadow hall i just i just absolutely loved it so this is what it looks like i knew i would get so much wear out of this and i think that's what it is you have to look at it and think how many times am i going to wear this and I just knew a lot because I just feel really comfortable wearing this. Um, so this is what it looks like. It's just a plain denim skirt, but it has the kind of blue, red and white stripe down the side, which I think is really cool. That's quite a trend right now to have that stripe down the side of skirts and trousers and things. Um, but this is what it looks like. The size that I have mine in is a size 10 and it fits really, really well. It's not too short, which is great. It actually fits the perfect length and it is quite, you know, extremely high waisted actually. And that's what I like about it. So the fact that it can actually like come up quite high, but it's still not too short. I wore this so much on holiday um, with some tights or without tights and it just, I'm really comfortable wearing it. Obviously I'm never 100% comfortable wearing denim because it is a little bit, you know, thick, but this was absolutely fine so yeah that was 100 percent my you know overall this month fashion favorite um for food favorites this month i have these which are just some plain chocolate from tesco's sorry it's kind of falling out i probably should put that back in but recently when i came back off holiday because on holiday i snacked quite a lot like we all did um so i just wanted to eat a little bit more healthy when i got home and i've been really really good this week for my eating healthy which is good and i knew that i would always want something sweet to eat in the evening so i'll be really really good 
the whole day and then in the evening I just want something kind of a little bit sweet so that's why I bought these and this one is plain chocolate with a hint of refreshing mint and this one is plain chocolate with a hint of zesty orange so what I do is I just have one piece of each every night just because that is what I like to have so yeah these are really nice this was they were a pound each from Tesco and yeah dark chocolate is a lot better for you than milk chocolate obviously because you know chocolate itself as in like the cocoa powder part of it is actually you know it does have things in it that's good for you but it's just the amount of sugar and the amount of milk that they put in is what makes them unhealthy but yeah so if I only have two pieces then it's fine um, and I've really loved eating these so yeah that's my food favorite yes event favorite of the month is first of all my holiday to Bredlington with my friends Leanne Steph and Emma obviously I have to mention that because that was clearly a favorite of the month I did vlog every single day there so go and check out the vlogs if you haven't already there is a playlist of my Bridlington holiday so I'll leave that link below in the description if you want to go and check that out but we did a lot of stuff and it was a lot of fun and yeah it was a great week and I got to know them really really well and the hot tub was probably the best part of the holidays so that was good that was my first favorite in terms of an event and then the second one was actually um prom last week I had my prom on Thursday last week and prom itself was okay but then me my friends and literally the rest of my school um obviously in my year went to a club for the first like that was my first time going to a club so yeah um, we went to a club and it was really fun. We stayed there until the place closed, which was three in the morning, um, which I didn't know whether I would make it till then. But yeah, I wasn't even tired. I could have kept going. I think if I had suitable shoes on, I would have been fine to go till the next, you know, you know, nine o'clock in the morning. Um, but it was because my feet were absolutely killing me in the heels that I was wearing. I could not keep going. And my feet right now are still sore. And today is Sunday and I went on Thursday. So yeah that that was quite something um but that was a really good time so i liked it there now youtuber favorite i don't actually usually do this in my videos but i'm just gonna kind of scroll down my subscription list and kind of talk about some of my favorite youtubers because i haven't done this in a while so i might be repeating myself but you know I'm just gonna go through it. So again, Tati, she's a makeup person, love her videos. She uploads five days a week, always, you know, excited to watch her videos. Jordan Lipscomb, she's really, really good as well. I love how her fashion sense is very similar to my fashion sense and her makeup um, kind of inspiration or whatever, I kind of get inspired by her. So I'll link all these down below, by the way. Lily Pebbles, of course love watching her videos i love how kind of mature she is i've noticed that i actually enjoy watching older youtubers now that are like 25 to 30 years old because they're just a little bit more mature their videos i find more relatable which is weird because i'm obviously 18 and you would think i would prefer to watch you know people that do videos that are my own age but i just find them quite you know they're all kind of challenge videos they're all a little bit silly and i just like to watch videos about sort of organization um how to cook meals or whatever like what i eat in a day that kind of thing just fashiony videos just more mature videos um the anna edit as well she's definitely one of my favorites okay just checking i got the right person and um, lucy moon she uploads one video a week and she just very calming to watch you sit down you watch a video you feel like it's very organized and you just leave you know watching that video feeling very relaxed so she's quite a relaxing person to watch so i'll try and link all of those down below so that is all of my youtuber favorites and that is my favorites for this month sorry that this video is a little bit late usually i upload my favorites videos on like the last day of the month but do subscribe down below for some more videos i do literally a bunch of different things and i am going to be putting a lot more effort in considering it is the summer like the video and comment if you would like to and i'll see you in my next video goodbye